Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. You know, all these scientists that you meet generally, and I'm yeah. sure you meet a bunch all the time. Is there anyone amongst them that doesn't believe in aliens? Because I've, I've noticed that a lot of scientists also believe in the possibility of uh, extraterrestrial life. Yeah, I, you know, I don't ask that question to every, <laughs> every scientist I meet, but maybe I should <laughs> and get a poll and I'll give you some data back. <laughs> no, but what's, what's your guess? Because yeah. I mean, all of us who, who are fascinated by space, who are choosing professions related to space, yep are all kind of science fiction fanboys and fangirls. So what's up? Yeah. Do, you, do you think about alien life? Do you think about what's out there? Do these people think about what's out there? Yeah, I mean, I definitely do. And I'm okay. sure a lot of the community does as well. Mm. Um, not everyone's, you know, research work is related to it. But, you know, as rare, I mean, it's pretty rare what we have here. I mean, it's the, the earth, you mean? Yeah, I mean, the earth, like a lot of things had to come together at the right time mm. for us to exist. But if you look at the just the expanse of the universe, I, I find it hard to believe we're, we're the only ones. I don't think there's I don't think it's very common, mm. but I don't think we're the only ones. You know, one of the reasons I started this podcast was to have monks on the show, yeah. especially like Indian monks, because there's a lot of kind of alternative astrophysics written in Indian scriptures as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of them speak about the multiverse, about uh, extraterrestrial life. Have you ever looked into like Indian scriptures and what they say about it? I, I mean, I haven't, but I should. I mean, okay. you've sold me. <laughs> <laughs> you need to listen to the Ranveer show more regularly. I will. I, will. I mean, I'm, sub I'm subscribed now. <laughs> what, what do you think of alien life? Like, is that something that fascinates you? Yeah, it does. I mean, you know, I, again, I grew up watching Star Trek, and so I love I you know I would love to see <laughs> that kind of <laughs> interactions in the future. I don't think it's going to happen in my lifetime. Mm. I mean, starships are. <laughs> okay. I would love to be a captain of a starship in the future. Okay, you you don't need to drop names or give any details. This is a yes or no question. Okay. Okay. Have you heard of any classified information from people you met? No. No. Yeah. Oh. But I, you know, it's fun. Um, right now. Actually, just recently in the U.S., Congress held um, a series of hearings on UFOs. So on it, and they, they have a different name. They have a different acronym for it. But Congress did just recently have hearings on information that was recently declassified of unidentified objects and mm. how we can research and track these more in the future. So. So you're keeping a track of I the am. News. I am. I love all this stuff. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you shed some light on this subject? Oh, I mean, I, there was not, there's nothing that I think is... I mean, basically, what came out of it is, yes, there's unidentified objects out there. We need to figure out how to track them and learn more about them next time they happen. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a little like, you know, if you're somebody that was like, yeah, I wanted confirmation on if they were aliens, you probably were disappointed. <laughs> but no, That's probably why they didn't use the word UFO. Yeah, they had a different word. I, I can't remember the acronym. I, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I can't remember what the acronym is now, but I'll have to look it up. But yeah, I think they called it like, mm. oh, man, I, I, I don't remember. Thank you for watching this clip. If you want to learn more about this topic, we've curated a playlist just for you. And here's a link to the whole episode.